Hey y'all, I'm Sarah Whitna, violinist and arranger with Sphere Ensemble. I am here today to totally geek out about the Punch Brothers and our upcoming performance of their song, Magnet, from their 2015 album, The Phosphorescent Blues. If you don't know who the Punch Brothers are, allow me to totally fansplain. Uh, Wikipedia has a couple quotes describing their style as bluegrass instrumentation and spontaneity in the structures of modern classical, as well as American country classical chamber music. But I have more briefly heard them described as new grass or newer Americana, and they really are leaders in the bluegrass genre with their unconventional harmonies and their song forms, as well as an extreme virtuosity of playing. The band's mandolinist Chris Thilly is both the founder and the band leader of the group, and he's already had a significant career. In 2012, he won the MacArthur Genius Grant, and you may also recognize him as the radio show host of Live From Here, which took over the spot of Prairie Home Companion when Garrison Keillor left. So in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about their song Magnet that I arranged for Sphere, and uh, why I chose it, and what makes it characteristically Punch Brothers. Magnets. So, things you should know about the Punch Brothers. The very first thing you should know is that they are not afraid of dissonance. And, for example, the very first measure of their song, Magnet, has a dissonant chord made up of four notes. G, A flat, D, and E. There's a half step between the G and the A flat. There's a tritone between the A flat and the D, and there's a whole step between the D and the E. So there's a lot of dissonance in this chord, and it's in the very first bar. And as a result, you don't know what key you're in, and this is very unconventional for typical bluegrass music. And I would like to imagine that if I was interviewing Punch Brothers, and I said, what key is this piece in? They would respond, does it matter? The second thing that you should know about Punch Brothers is that they are not afraid to totally drop what they have been doing musically and harmonically and move in a completely different direction. And in their song Magnet, there is a great example of this going from chorus one into verse two. Uh, harmonically, the sections are related just by a half step. And the motion is very uncharacteristic for typical bluegrass harmonic progressions. It goes from E major to G minor. Um, and then the other thing that they do in this section is they have crescendoed and they've built up to forte and then they just immediately on verse two have subido uh, piano. And so not only harmonically are you kind of jarred out of where you've been, but also dynamically you are. A Couple other things to listen for in the song Magnet is that Punch Brothers, they love to play with metric modulations. So for a couple bars right before the coda, they go from common time into three, four, and it catches you off guard, and they combine this with a harmonic motion that you also don't expect. And then very characteristic and iconic of the Punch Brothers is this slow vocal slide of a half step. And you can find this in many, many of their other songs as well. I'm gonna do a little reading rainbow bit and say don't take my word for it. You should definitely listen to the song Magnet before you come to our Sphere concert on February 19th. But I also recommend you listen to three other of their songs. Icarus Smickerus is a great example of how they use dissonance and really satisfying resolutions. Next to the trash, they have fantastic metric modulations and significant character changes. And also their song Familiarity, which at about the six minute mark changes into a totally different song. And they're just such geniuses at changing character and taking you somewhere you didn't expect. Well, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, you might be a true Punch Brothers fan by now. But I also thank you for just letting me geek out about them. I'm a huge fan, and I cannot wait to perform my arrangement of Magnet with Sphere Ensemble in a 13-piece string orchestra version, and we really hope that you come and see what our version sounds like. <laughs>